<laughs> so welcome back so to another video here where we're, where we're gonna be taking a look at Nathaniel Kelly's latest masterpiece uh, t uh, to call on it America Mer America t America America um, to call on it Merrick here so now just before I delve into it I need to show you uh, something here this 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 here quote here let's have a look at this uh, you can close your eyes to the things that you do not want to see but you cannot close your heart to the things that you do not want to feel. What the hell is that supposed to mean? That's the wrong quote. That's not the one I'm supposed to be showing you. It's this one here. See, F. Scott Fitzgerald, he says this now. He says, They skipped briskly into an intimacy from which they never recovered. So that's that's the quote you got to keep in mind here. And that'll, that'll help you out here today with, uh, with, the, with our analysis here. Just keep that in your head now. Now, let's go back to the film here. Look, so this is the start of the film here. You see, we're at, we're at 14, we're at 15 and 10. So you can get that on your time course to keep up with us here. Now. So look at this here. We're in the rain. And this here, who's this here? This this one here, they're calling to make and Riley. And if you, if you skip to the credits, you find out that his name is to make and Riley for sure. And, and then, and he's got the second villain in the credits. So he's quite important. And so I, I googled him here, I gave him a google, um, I put into Mac and Riley, and look, there he is there, that's him, so, so it really is the Mac and Riley. So I've actually checked, you see, I've gone through the whole film for this one, and I've had a look, and there's, there's only one Mac and Riley through the whole film, so, so we can call this a Mac and Riley, just one, a Mac and Riley, and then, and it, it, because he's the first one to appear here, we can, we can call this, this film here, this, uh, what's it called, Merrick. We can call this here the film a, a Mac and Riley picture. So remember that, that's going to be important later. It's a Mac and Riley picture. So so here he comes in and blah blah blah. He comes in here and he talks to the, this this beard here and uh and they have look at that beard. And they they have a talk about all these things and they and they have a talk about how a Mac and Riley might think that beard has something to do with this disappearing, screaming, dying kids, but that's meaningless. That's not really what the film's about at all. I know that's a bit of a surprise to you, maybe. It's okay if maybe you thought that that Ash was important about the dying kids and all that. That, uh, you know, you're forgiven if that's what you think. Most people think that. But that's why I do these analyses, you know, to, to delve in, to, to, to find out what what's really going on in the film that you don't know about. See, look, it's a Nathaniel Kelly film. And they're complicated films, and they've got layers. So you need to let me, you know, talk you talk to you about those layers. So, so you've got this top layer here, where where the beard poisons the Mac and Riley, and then um stabs him to death there. But uh, look, that's just that's the top layer. That's not what really happens. It's all about the subtext, you see. So uh, look, let me show you one more quote. I think it'll it's gonna help you understand here. Uh. It's this quote here, so, you see, it's William Shakespeare, so, so you got to take it on board. It's, when I saw you, I fell in love, and just smiled because you knew. So, it's, that's a very simple quote. So, you go, I can apply that here. So, look, when they first meet in this film here, look, they, oh, there comes a Mick and Riley to the door. Watch this bit here now. We'll play it forward. No, okay. There he comes. Look at his face. Oh, bloody cut. Who edited this? Look at that face. That face says love. And then we can go over here. And he smiles. Let me take that back a few frames to that smile there. You see that smile there? Do you remember the quote we just had a look at? When I saw you and I fell in love. We know the love face. You smiled because you knew. Look. Look here at Beard. Do you think that he's smiling because he knows that there's love here? I think that's what's happening. I think it's very clear that that is what's happening right here beard is recognizing the love so this 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 here film this this merrick is not it is not a drama horror thing no 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 it's a love story it's a love story if you don't believe me look look the beard is actually credited as a joseph baronio so let me go back here to the, to the Google's, the source of all knowledge, and put in Megan Riley, Joseph Baronio, and see what comes up in the, the images there, because that's what we want. We want images. And uh, look here. 
Dude, see what this picture here is? They're actually lovers from way back. So that's actually clear. That's that's what I've discovered about this film. They're, they're lovers. It's a love star. So you see right here what what the, what the beard puts in the drink there. It's it's not poison. No, it's not poison. It's actually an anti-love potion. You see, these things exist here. They exist. So you see, he puts in the anti so he puts in the anti-love potion, and you're, you're wondering. What you I see you wondering why why did he do that? Why did he do that? So it's because the beard knows. The beard knows. You see, that it would be a hard life together. It would be hard for them to be together. And he wants to give a make and Riley an easy life. Because he cares for him. It's a love star, you know. But then but then the make and Riley feels the love potion. The anti-love potion here. And he, he feels it. See, look. Watch this moment. He feels the anti-love potion. Uh, it's just a romance, if ever you saw it. And uh, look, he's asking if he's okay. He's genuinely scared. And here he's feeling the anti-love potion. The love is seeping out of him. It's draining away. And he's horrified. And then look here. The beard notices. The beard notices that it's in here somewhere. Just, just a little moment. Right there. Note that time code. The beard notices that a making Riley is suffering and the beard wants to ease his pain so what does he do of course he just stabs him in the chest repeatedly you see this is the love scene this is actually the love scene here where he's stabbing him just repeatedly they're falling in love look at that happy fella now this is all quite, you know, it comes back to our quote here, you see, no, which was the quote, because you see, the one that we were looking at, the skipper screen and throwing into Smith from wherever they never covered. So look where, look what, doesn't this quote just, just fit this scene perfectly? Because you see, th these lovers, they're never going to recover. They're not going to recover from the intimacy that they've been in. And look here, a making Riley is dead, and it all fits. So it's really a very beautiful and uplifting tale that Nathaniel Kelly has told here, because it's a happy ending meant to encourage you, and, and it's encouraging you to be intimate with people, whether they killed kids or not. That's just really very nice. So I hope that opens your eyes to some of the teams. I hope you have a nice day. Oh, shit.